Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from ICM. It is named as a Wehrmacht 3 ton trucks and as you can see it's part of the diorama series DS uh, series number hints on this. It is molded in 135 scale, it is a commercial release and we have it for the review. So it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video. So first of all the main meaning of this packaging is that we get three trucks in one box and it might be handy for some fans of the German armor and German vehicles. Also you can uh, let's say use one for one build and also store another trucks in the um, for the next projects it will be up to you but you get all these three simultaneously let's say. So box size is uh, quite big because it has to house three boxes here you can see comparison with my hand then on the side we we have parts count for each truck and you can also notice which trucks are included so it means V3000S, KHD uh, 300, actually 3000 and also S300 and also L300S if I'm not wrong. So three German trucks. And here on the opposite side you can see the profiles for these trucks but obviously we'll check them in assembly manual because now we are going to open it if it will be easy and fast enough. So just give me a second. Box structure is typical as you can see that's a flexible top color printed lid and then we have sturdy white cardboard box which should actually protect everything what is hidden inside. Now I'm going to open it and here is what we have inside. So several plastic bags obviously it is divided by the kits and we are going to check them one by one and see what is actually supplied here. And I mean if you saw for example a review of the uh, kit 35 Zero 07, that means KHD. Uh, it will be ab absolutely the same, but still, I don't remember if we reviewed this particular kit, so it would be worth to refresh the image and check what is included. So, just give me a second. Okay, so first of all, we have here plastic sprue with wheels and also various panels for the rear section and overall molding quality looks fine. I really pleased to see that we have plastic wheels not the vinyl parts and wooden texture here is not replicated so you have to do it with your own hands and I would like to zoom in even more so that you can see wheels in a close video shot. Okay now we zoom out and we go on to the next plastic sprue. Just give me a sec. Okay, so next one is dedicated to the mix of various parts. Here we will find the main chassis bars as well as engine parts here, some interior parts, for example steering wheel, also some minor elements for the fine detailing. And as you can see, some parts are really thin and small, so you have to handle them with sharp tweezers, otherwise it will be nearly impossible. And of course be careful with thin parts, because it might be easy to break them. But otherwise I don't see any flesh on this part, so it should be quite a nice kit which is easy to build and uh, you won't encounter any extra problems or issues. Next we go on with another plastic sprue. This one is obviously dedicated to the front cap parts. As you can see it is a matter of combining separate panels together. Also we have separate doors which is really cool because you might want to open the interior and show what is hidden inside. So it is a welcome addition I would say and it is given out of the box. Next we go on with this plastic bag which is dedicated to the clear sprue. Let's open it. Here we have all necessary glasses for this truck. And as you can guess masks are not included so you have to do everything with your own hands. But I think for some others it won't be a problem and in case this is a problem you can just leave this aside and insert them afterwards. So now I'm trying to get rid of some plastic bits which were left from the previous sprues. We zoom out and we can move on to the next plastic sprue. Just give me a second. So it's not actually the sprue, it's another set. So we open this plastic bag and check what is hidden there. Okay, 
So we start with this plastic sprue. Again, we have large panels for the rear section, some mud guards or view arches, and everything looks fine. It's just a matter of combining these panels together. Again, we do not have any wooden texture here. So if you would like to replicate the wood structure, you have to do it with your own tools and hands. Maybe use some weathering techniques or something else. Next, we continue with this sprue here. You can see the main chassis bars, view rims and also some of the drivetrain parts, wheel axles and engine parts. Note that we have only wheel rims molded out of plastic because wheel tires will be vinyl here and I will show it in a second after checking the last grey plastic sprue. Here it is. So here we have front cap parts as well as the engine, also some bonnet parts, here we have separate doors and a really nice molding quality here on the grill. As you can see the Mercedes three point star is molded here nicely so it's just a matter of using the dry brush method in order to bring it out on the final build. So next we have small plastic bag with clear plastic frame as usual it is done in order to avoid possible scratches okay here it is molding quality looks fine so masks are not included obviously so you have to cover them with your own hands and tools and here you have to do it because as you can see these moldings are pre-molded together with you know, glass so you will have to do it and another plastic bag for this truck is dedicated to vinyl tires as you can see there are five of them six of them actually one two three four seven of them so one is spare and I will show it because it is absolutely the same and there is no need to remove everything one by one just give me a second okay so here is the tire it's a typical vinyl part nothing surprising here in a good sense it should be okay on the out of the box build and I mean still a lot of modellers just cover it with dirt so I guess it's not such a huge issue here Next we go on with another plastic bag, another set of sprues, again I'm going to open it and we will check this truck as well. Okay, so what do we have here? First plastic sprue is dedicated to the rear panels and also main chassis bars. As you can see we have here leaf springs pre-molded and if you flip it over here you can see some guiding elements which will be used for ease of assembly. Next we go on with another plastic sprue which carries mix of various parts. It means wheel rims for example here, some of the engine parts, dashboard, these thin frames for the rear sections so, and everything looks fine so I really doubt that you have any possible issues here. Next we continue with oops, this plastic frame first. So here we have front cap parts, again we have separate doors, we have engine, bonnet panels are molded shut so you won't be able to open them, you will have to modify them somehow and we have quite nice pre-molded details on the radiator grill, here you can see them. So don't be lazy, try to bring them out with help of painting techniques. Next we have another plastic sprue with wheel rims and suspension ports. So let's zoom in. Now you should be able to see it. Okay. And one more thing is this plastic bag with clear plastic sprue. So this one carries not only the glasses for the front cap but also lenses for the headlamps and molding quality looks fine. Again masks are not included that might be the only problem with these parts and another plastic bag is dedicated to the vinyl tires so again I'm going to remove only one set of them and here you can see these are typical vinyl tires we can zoom in even more and maybe I'll bring it closer just like this okay focus on these wheels please yeah now you should be able to see it. So here you can see the tire. It is quite simple vinyl tire. So again, cover it with dirt and forget about it. Next, we go on with assembly manuals. And here it is quite interesting because we have actually three brochures and each is dedicated to the 
different trucks. So here you can see them. Of course, I will show them one by one. So first one goes the V3000S. We have here the parts map on the first page. Then we flip it over. Here we have decals and just give me a second. So here we have decals. This is quite small decal sheet, but we have all necessary symbols and it should be easy to apply them. Next, we go on with this insert. It's a marking guide. As you can see, it's printed in black and white. Not that useful, I would say. The assembly process starts with main chassis. It is quite simple because it's a relatively old release. So that's why it is simplified here. But still, as you can see, it is more or less understandable. And I mean, it won't be difficult to guess what you have to install the next. Okay, next we go on with another one. This one already printed in the new style, so as you can see that's uh, L3000S assembly manual. And it is printed in color, we have short history note as usual. Next we have also decals, so just give me a second. Here it is, a small decal sheet with all necessary symbols, again nice printing quality, so no complaints here. And next we go on with parts map. Let's flip over the page. Here we have assembly process which starts with engine and main chassis bar here. Next we continue with exhaust and wheels and wheel arches for the front cap. We install wheels. Obviously you won't do this if you want to paint properly your vehicle and weather it. Here we assemble the front cap, the doors which are molded separately and they will be detailed inside as well which is really cool. It means you can open them and don't be shy about plain walls out of the box. Next we continue with various uh, steering elements, cowling or bonnet. Next we assemble the rear section. So it's a matter of combining separate panels together. Here we install various uh, holders for the fuel cans. Then we install whole rear section on the rear, actually on the main chassis. And next it's a bit difficult to separate the pages. So here we installed the screen wipers and also various minor elements and pioneer tools, headlamps and handles. And here we have the vehicle ready. So one, two and three, four marking options out of the box. That's really cool and it will be definitely useful in your project. And here we have another one that's a KHDS. 3000. So again the same style of the assembly manual. It means short history no technical specifications and also paints chart. Next we go on with parts map and also here we have decals. So again just give me a sec. So decals are printed on this tiny decal sheet and they look really okay so I don't think you will have any issues with them. And next we go on with... just give me a second. So we start assembly process with engine, then we assemble the main chassis, then we continue by installing the exhaust tube here, then we install the wheel axles and drivetrain, wheels, obviously wheels will be left off, I'm not sure why it is always shown that you have to install them on the first steps, here we have spare wheel by the way. Next we continue with front cap, again it's a matter of combining separate panels together. It should be quite detailed inside, so it's worth considering opening the separate doors, especially if they are provided out of the box. Next we assemble the rear section and install it on the main frame. And one more page here, various minor elements for the front and rear. And one more page, here we have vehicle ready, so two marking options here. And if you flip it over here, we have two more, so four marking options in total. So overall we get quite interesting combo set out of three trucks and might be useful for some diorama builders or for some fans of German uh, vehicles in 135 scale it will be really handy. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!